hodgepodge garage. So I got some things laid out for a one-tenth crawler here. So I, I've never done a one-tenth crawler. I've done a lot of different things, but a lot of different scales. But never a one-tenth. You know what really grinds my gears? Is plastic gears. Those were, that's what really grinds. Opened up the axle and it's got some grease. So this one is good to go. All right, well, we got our pieces all laid out and it looks like we have everything we're gonna need. So things are moving along nicely. I'm getting my chassis all hooked up here. Motor. Got the, the bumpers and the uh, shock mounts, side skids. Now I'm going to attach the links and the shocks to the axles and try to get those on. And once we're, once we get those on, we're, we're looking good. We'll be styling. We pieced together our one tenth crawler here. It's a hodgepodge of mixed and match pieces, cheap things I got and just spare parts. So here we have uh, the gearbox with a 35 turn motor, add some shocks and some high clear uh, links. The links actually go to a 1 8 scale truck. And so they do go out kind of far, they kick out a little bit. We got it up and running, no body yet, but Everything's good. We got our steering. We got our driving. I don't want <laughs> this truck's too big for the garage, huh? So I'm trying to get a body to fit this car. I got this guy here. And we're gonna try to just make a little tweak here and there to get it to fit properly. See what we can do. It's shaping up very nicely. I just gotta move the front tire back about one inch. Somehow I gotta figure that out and then everything will line up perfect. Things seem to be sizing up just right. Look at that. We had to do some changes to make this body work though. So, some of the things that we've done is we've changed the shocks to smaller shocks to lower it, give it a better scale look and uh, remove the shock towers on the back. And we kept the shock towers in the front. And we had to move the links. So the, the links were all kind of forward and then moved it back here to get that, that inch that we needed. And it seemed to fit pretty darn close. Not, nothing's ever perfect, but Pretty darn close now. So we're looking on mounting the body and I'm gonna be using magnets for mounts. My first time doing magnets and I secured them to the, uh, the chassis and I put some wax paper so when I glue them to the body, the magnets won't stick together by accident. All right, let's have a look at the truck here, how things are going. I glued in the posts and they have the magnetic connections. So we drop the truck on. Catches us pretty good. It's strong enough to hold the wheels well. It was last time I tried, let's see. Ah. So there you go. But a little jiggle and it pops out. So I think that's strong enough, like that. That's about a two inch drop and the body held on pretty good. So I think the magnets are gonna be okay. Going into the build on this car, I was thinking I was gonna make a crawler. But given the body and the way things are fitting, it's more of a street style. But if I ever want to switch it to a crawler, it'd be pretty easy to add some bigger shocks and bigger wheels, and it'd be a pretty good crawler. But for now, I'm just going to enjoy it like this.
The body on this truck is a 1 6th scale New Bright. It's hard plastic and it's kind of heavy for a body. But this 1 10th scale uh, truck, it can handle the extra weight. So it seems to do pretty well. Right, let's check out this body here is already wired for lights. So what I did was I attached the battery and receiver directly up so that I don't have to attach it to the car. I'd be using a magnetic mounting system and if it pops off, I don't want any of the wires to rip out or anything like that. So there we go. If it pops off, everything stays lit. And then just pop it right back on. Voila, good to go. When you're done, pop it off. There we go. Let there be light. Check it out at night, huh? Let's get out there. Do a little night ride. Night rider. Got the churn signals working. Headlights, got some underglow. The lights really pop when you're driving out at night. I hooked the, the lights up to an extra receiver so I can use my channel 4 to turn them on and off whenever I want. I got the, the blue lights on the top. Uh, there's some blue lights on the head, the headlights. And for the underglow, it's color changing. And those hook up to the channel 4. And then the rest go with the Dumbo RC receiver. And so it'll have turning lights, driving lights, brake lights. And it's pretty cool. So I decided to take it out for another spin and we got a little extra footage for you. We're gonna do one more lap around the block. My neighbor has a cute little Japanese garden here. And it's fun to crawl through once in a while. I like to leave some tire marks for him, give him something to, to comb out. Every time I come by here, the, the dirt is kind of nice and flat. I think he works on it. If he sees me driving out here, he might come out and say something. Watch out, we got a low bridge coming through.